Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got a very special video. In today's video we are going to check out the all new Stark frame. This is a freestyle frame, they're calling it an airframe, I mean they're all airframes aren't they? They all go in the air. But this is a Stark freestyle frame, it's a 5 inch frame and as you can see right here it is the Stark V1. So I don't even know what this is, I don't know who makes it, I, I know nothing. It came in uh, one of the monthly subscription boxes and I want to check it out with you guys so let's go. All right, pilots, let's crack it open. Boom. And in this video, if you got one of these and you're looking it up and you actually found it and you want to know what it is, we are going to learn how to build it right now because it came with instructions. Oh, wow. That's pretty sick looking. All right, let's check this sucker out. Oh, cool. We got a battery strap. Oh, you know what this is? I think this is the all new T-Motor frame. <gasps> The all-new T-Motor frame. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, here we go. All right, so we've got all our parts out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break them open and get them out on the table. Let's go. All right, pilots, so we have got all our parts spread out on the table. This is pretty wicked. It looks like a very simple frame to build, and it appears that it's by T-Motor and FPV Crate. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if they got together and they worked together on it. The battery strap shows FPV, but a kind of T-motor-ish. So I don't know. This is pretty cool. I guess this is some type of uh, mix between the two. And so far, it looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put it together, and let's see what it looks like. Now, if you are mounting a 20 by 20 frame, you would want to follow that pattern. Do not follow the 30 by 30 pattern. Okay. Now that we've done that, we can use that as a guide for us to get our arms on. So what we'll do now is we'll take this plate and we'll set it on top of there just like this and then we'll lock this guy down. So we're going to need our handy dandy driver. Alright Pilot, so once you have your arms on, all four arms, now you can go ahead and put in your side bolts which are going to be the, the other sized ones that you saw. All right, pilots, so now I've got all the arms on. I've got the stack screws in, so you can see those. Those are pretty cool. And I laid those out as if I'm building a 30 by 30. Keep in mind, if you're doing a 20 by 20, you would have done the same exact thing. You would have just put in the longer bolts more in the, in the smaller, in the 20 by 20 mounting option. Other than that, this thing is starting to come together pretty nice. Very simple frame. I think I, uh, I've screwed in eight bolts and we're pretty much done. The arms are already pretty dang solid. Uh, they're not all the way there, but then again, I'm not all the way done. So this is looking really cool. Uh, we've got some holes punched out here. That's pretty cool. Probably give us a little bit lighter weight, but at the same time, keeping a little bit of obtrusion there. So that way, if we were to hit something, it wouldn't be all motor that gets hit. So I'm kind of liking this frame, and as I put it together, I'm seeing a strong resemblance of the T-Motor FT5. I'm not 100% though, I am seeing that this is a T-Motor frame, but at the same time, it's an FPV crate frame. So maybe they worked together on this one, and this was just like their version. I, I don't know, they don't tell you, and uh, it's a mystery of some sort so I'm not really sure but who cares it's a cool frame we're gonna fly it and we're gonna have fun and I'm gonna crash it and break it so what does it matter all right here we go so here in the center center we've got more holes to strengthen everything and we've got more of these longer bolts but I need to count and be sure because I've got to be able to grab my standoffs which oh I still can so we're good so I'm gonna stick these here in the middle and what this is doing is this is going through the bottom plate, through the arm, and into the lock nut plate, which is very, very helpful. Because that means you're grabbing your arms strong, you're holding on strong and tight, and of course, that's what we want. Another thing I'm noticing is these standoff colors here, this is like an orange color, 
which is actually the color of the stock FT5. So I'm pretty sure I figured out what it is, but don't hold me to it. I'm sure somebody in the comments can let me know exactly what this is. So we are locked and loaded. These arms are tizite. So there she is looking good. All right, next thing up is gonna be to put on our standoffs. I know that just because it's quite obvious. So what I do is I drop one in and then I grab a standoff and I just twist it on by hand. I'll go back around later and tighten them all later. Looks like I got a spare screw right here. I'm not sure for what just yet. Maybe we'll find out when we're done and there's some screws left over, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and finish these standoffs. All right, standoffs are on. This thing is coming together. I can tell you that much. All right, next up is our camera plates, which have a really cool looking logo on them. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that is the all new Stark logo. All right, this is really cool. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing double mounting, almost like you've got an option. Let me bring you in. So you've got an option right here of some style of mounting that way and then another option this way, which means you could take these plates, flip them around and get another style. So that's pretty cool. I wouldn't imagine that you would mount a second camera for any reason. So that I'm pretty sure and because it looks pretty universal, right? What keeps me from going like this and putting this one on this side and that one on this side, there's nothing. So that's what those are there for. They've given you different mounting options in case you've got a camera that only accepts two holes or maybe you've got one that accepts three different screws. That would be cool because the more the merrier when you're talking about your camera. So those just fell down. Yes, they did. Let me pop those back in. All right, so there's your camera. The plates are extremely loose, but most frames are and then once you drop your top plate on, it grabs them and then they're, they're pretty sturdy after that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? That's a serious motion right there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop these top screws on. If you're interested in this screwdriver, I've got a video on it, a full review to check it out and see if you're interested. It's the ES121 electric screwdriver. I'll link that video for you. Because you saw, I'm sure you saw during this build that that made my life much easier. All right, here we go, pilots. This frame is together. I want you guys to meet the all new Stark V1 freestyle airframe with some super cool colors on the uh, standoffs. It's like some type of goldish orange. It's nothing like you've ever seen before. We've got plenty of protection on the camera. We've got built in mounting screws for our stack or flight controller, whatever you got there. I don't think we've got space for an air unit, but I bet you can fit a Caddx Vista in here. If you're rocking DJI, I know that I am, and I'm gonna try to stuff one in there. We've got some slots here to go ahead and zip tie something. I know you can see that. All right, so my one complaint that I'm gonna give is I've got one extra short screw, I've got one extra medium screw, and I've got one extra long screw. If I had a different mounting option for my stack, I would be stuck with these long, long screws. So I feel like this screw here, which is the middle screw, which is the exact height that we need to uh, lock to the lock nut and lock through the bottom of the frame, that's all of these that you see here, except for the four that are super long. I feel like they could have thrown three more in in case I had my own mounting solution. Uh, other than that, this frame is pretty much flawless. It's nothing too fancy. It's not not enough. I think that it's just perfect. You've also got yourself some mounting hardware. You've got some grommets, you've got some separators, and you've got some metal with nylon in them lock nuts. And those are amazing. Once you lock them down, they don't come back off. So I really do like that. Overall, this is a really nice frame. I look forward to building it. If you guys wanna see this get built, let me know down in the comments. Other than that, I think this was a fun little video. Nothing too crazy, nothing too drastic, but yet you got to meet the Stark V1. I hope that you pilots enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.